Okay. Not uh, like you're looking for. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Landau joined, even though it's like uh, middle of the day for him. Uh, Landau actually showed up before nine o'clock, which means he can. Yeah, I, I I saw the sun setting, so I decided to come on because you guys start at you know sunset now. I thought maybe <laughs> you're maybe you. you're. I'm telling yeah. Landa, you've been undressed since six o'clock. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Still too early, man. It's too early. Yeah. I don't know well, what I, shows I, on from nine to ten, but I guess he doesn't know that you just record the shows nowadays or you just watch them. <laughs> you stream them whenever you want. All right. Yeah, I wish I had that. <laughs> I would watch that during the year. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, you got picture in picture. It doesn't work with Zoom, though. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't work picture in picture. Don't worry. You get it out. Pay double this year. I heard you getting paid double this year. That's for sure, right? That is for sure. What what does it mean? Bali to feel are going to be davening in both on him. You know what? I we're going to stop the conversation right after this sentence. I have no idea because I have no I was not not Diego, asked. You, Diego, you can you could answer you could answer very politically when they call you to tell you you know how to answer. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, okay, Rusiako, I feel like I'm in good company because I just found out there are no groups this year and and, and you you should have to be there. Uh, oh, you got oh you found out on the email? Yeah, I found out on the email also. No groups, by the way, but I'd like to now announce to everybody there are no groups in Triashi. I love it. I love it. So let me ask you who was on the meeting. If all the people that were involved didn't know who was on the meeting, I don't know. I don't know. Where, where are we up to in Daf Yomi? We are on Daf Chof Aleph on the base, five lines from the bottom. Yeah. Well, uh, Marchuk did a good job there on the Lush and Hara. Nice. <coughs> okay. Anyways. Dorash Rava, yeah? Oh, that's uh, Baruch Bendit Ben Sivia. And also for Dr. Shor, who's not doing yes. so great. Also, both of you. Nachman Ben Mindel. Nachman Ben Mindel. But for Shalev, Besach Shar Chayli Yisrael. Main. Um, no, we started before that. Omar Rav Hamnuna. Yeah? Seven yeah. lines up from the bottom. Omar Rav Hamnuna. May Dich Siv Ayyadaber Shleish Salafim Moshel. Uh, right, and he spoke. This is again referring to Shlaima Velach, and he spoke three thousand mashalim, three thousand, I guess, examples. Right, and Shira, his his singing was was Hamish Hamish of Elif. Um Now, how do you touch Hamish of Elif? A thousand and five. I right? I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the significance is. A thousand and five. Anyways, but whatever it is, Malama Jama Shlaima, I'll call Dava Vidava Shal Taira, Shlaisha Salaf and Mashal. On every word of Taira, right? On every word of Taira, he said three thousand Mashalim. Yeah. I don't know if that means exactly a mashal to explain it or different halachas that come out from it. I I, I wasn't sure exactly what that means. Yeah, right? three thousand re- uh, reasons for each uh, for each Taira mitzvah, each each mitzvah. Reason? He says it's reasons. Yeah, it says three thousand reasons for each Torah law, but said them in ma- Mashalom. I hear. Um, it's Rashi. Ra- Rashi, one second. Where, where's the Rashi? Rashi? Where's the Rashi? It's Yosef. An explanation of Rashi. It's not Rashi. It's, it's Yosef. Come on, I don't see any Rashi on it. I didn't see any Rashi in this at all. Rashi says, Marshall, oh. Tom. Oh, I missed that one word, Rashi. Marshall, Tom. Very good. Yeah, I just totally missed that. I was looking for it. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, Tom. Okay, so that's what he means by reasons. Okay. It's interesting that the Mashalim for reasons. Okay, whatever it is. I'll call Dava Dava Shal Seifrim. Yeah. I don't know where I got this from, but I have written down from the list from seven years ago. The Lubavitch Rebbe said that Shlomo Melech, he has 3,000 things in each marshal because each marshal brings it closer to our understanding because the way, way, the actual thing, it's impossible for Yulidisha to understand. So he takes it through 3,000 levels so we could understand it. I don't know where I got it from. I just have it written okay. down. That's an interesting shot. That's an interesting shot. I don't know if that fits into the Rashi with Tom, but I hear very good, very good. Okay, so anyway, so that's on the Darizes, it's 3,000. I'll call the Rashi, 
on anything that's in the Durabonon, it's a thousand and five. That to explain the Durabonon. Right? So Dorosh Rava, might have said, that's another next thing. Rava Darshins, here, the Yosef Shoya Kehelis Chacham, right? The Kehelis is obviously referring to Shlem Melech. Right? The Yosef Shoya Kehelis Chacham, Oid Lima Das Esaam, the Ezen, the Chikar Tikan, the Shalom Harbe. Right? So, more than that, that, that was meaning more than just being Chacham, he was able to teach people and he was able to listen and he did a lot of Mishalim, made a lot of Mishalim, right? So, so Limid, Das, is Sa'am. Right? He taught Das to the, to the people. The Agmare, the Simone Tamim, the Azbam, the Domile. He taught them with Simone Tamim, right? Which Rashi says that's, uh, I don't. I mean, what does it mean? Does this mean uh, Tamim, the Trup? What we call Trup, right? It's a Trup. It's a Trup for the Mishnah. It's a Trup for the well. It's not. It's a Trup for the Mishnah. Oh, 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 no, but no. Kavol lemisar. No, this is for both. This is for the Torah and for the the Rabbanon. Right? Kavol lemisar is this one of Bein Betevas Amikra, Bein Begirs to Shal Mishnah. It seems it's like he had. So I they guess used, they say they that Mishnayis could have a, a song, they right? Used, they used yeah. to say Mishnah. They used to say Mishnayis in a sing song because that's the best way to remember it. That when they right. before they wrote it down, it it. it Right, but I'm saying that there was no, but there's no trup as far as I know. There was a, the, there's a trup, it wasn't a written down trup, but it was, it's the same, it was the way it was said consistently. But it's interesting that they didn't, uh, that they didn't have a trup, they didn't have a trup for Mishnais, if it existed, right? It's interesting that we lost it, no? They say that's a Right, that's what, that's... It's in the city the tomb. Right, so that's, yeah. right. But that's a big chiddush. That to say that pshat is a big chiddush. That the uh, uh, right the Yochanan Bayis Mishnah says that pshat. Right. Okay. Anyways, so he's saying that he had to see monim, ba'azbara b'may and uh, he he explained it with things that were similar or with examples. Right. Be'izin v'chikar tikan b'shalom harbe. So he listened, and and he looked out for many different mashalim. So Amr Ula Amr Rabbi Lazar Bechila Hai Sa Taira Daimon Bekhtifa Sha'in Laznaya. In the beginning, the Taira was was compared to it was like a basket that had no no Aznaim literally means ears, but it means handles. Acha Bashlaima Basa Laznaim Till Shlaima Melech came and made ears to it. Meaning, Shad is is that he uh, he made the Gzeres like we said before. He made Eruv and he made Nitzul Sidaim. Fine. Then then by doing the pasuk. Right, his hair are are taltulim is uh, uh, what do you call it? Curly or whatever it is. So I'm gonna have Mar Ukva Malamat Shiesh Lidra shall call kites of kites. You should darshan on every little um the kites, the kites kutsa shall you the little even the little pieces of ink that are on top of the letters. Tile tilim shall halachas, piles and piles of of halachas, you can learn out from the small kaitzer shaliyut, from the little of or any of the letters. Yeah, then it says shchayres ka'ariv, you know, black like a, a raven, right? A raven is black. Vemi atamaitzan, who do you find? Where do you find somebody who's black as a raven? Vemi shemashkim. That is a very difficult gemara to me to understand. Vemi, um, vemi shemashkim umar v'leim the base matters. Somebody who gets up early. And goes to to the Bismedish. right? So that's uh, that's who becomes meaning they're they're black because of working so hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, Rashi says Mashkum Marvis Shchiris Lashem Shachris. He's learning it. I jumped it. That's the next shot, right? Shchiris black is Lashem Shachris getting up in the morning, and uh, Iris I and. Oyrev is Lashon Arvis. So the word Meir. I mean, they come, they come early to learn and they go late. What do you say? Gemara, when they overthrew the, uh, uh, the Shua took over at Zero, they overthrew the Tavla yeah, yeah. Didn't they say you don't understand the, the hardship of the Tavla Chacham with the black walls? Of right, Tavla? right, right. Very good. Yeah, it does. It's black. Very good. Rabbi Amar, the Misha Mashka Panavalem Ka'irev, somebody who makes his face black. Like, um, because he's uh, like the face of a uh, raven is black, right? 
Um, yeah, so Rashi says, oh, no, that's the next Rashi. Yeah, that's an extra. That's one word. So he makes himself black, I guess, by working so hard, his face gets dark. This is uh, this is a difficult one to understand, but Lamaisa, this 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 does happen. If you want, yeah, you know, somebody who's gonna who's gonna be a Talmud Chacham, somebody who becomes he goes he's tough on his kids and on Bnei Beis means his wife. Ka'ariv like an Ariv, I guess a raven is an achzer on his kids. That's what Rashi says, right? Um, that what? So he had he had the Rav Adabar Masna have a call to the Rav. He was going to 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 the base medrash of Rav. Amalei to visu yeluki didach my Abed. So what should I do with the kids? Right? How am I going to feed the kids? Amala mishlimu kormi baagma. Are there are there vegetables in the agam in the swamps? Are they are they finished? Are they complete? Meaning go over there and get it, right? So what does that mean? He's saying like I got to go learn, and this is uh, you go got you got to take care. So basically it was being. He's being very tough on his kids and on his wife in order that, and that he's going to learn, which, I mean, whatever it is, if somebody wants to be successful and put a lot of work, whether it's into business, whether it's into learning, whatever it is, the family on, oftentimes does get sacrificed. That's, that's the way it goes, right? It's a very difficult balance when to, to decide how much time to put into your family and how much, how much not. Fine. It was said... It was said about that Rav Eliashev, his wife took care of everything. Yeah, that's what they said. I mean, yeah, that's, everything. Uh, right, and that, but then, and then you end up with Rav Eliashev, right? right? In that case, not not for everybody. Right, right, for right exactly, exactly, doctor. That's the problem. Sometimes a guy will go to his wife and say, "Listen, you want me to be a, you know, you know Rebbe Tzinol Yashiv did all this and this and this. The problem is, and the wife doesn't have the guts to tell the husband, yeah, but you're not Rebbe Eliashev. I mean, when you become Rebbe Eliashev, I'll become Rebbe Tzinol Yashiv." Yeah. I personally heard. I personally heard. The, I personally heard the story um, from somebody who, who who heard it from the person involved that uh, his father-in-law, Ari Levine Zatzal, felt that he didn't get enough exercise, so he decided you should walk with him a little bit to give him a little exercise during the day. So he said, "Okay, my father wants to exercise." He walks with him a couple of blocks and he says, "Where are we?" He says, "You're in Kikar Shabbos. You've never been in Kikar Shabbos." He said, "No." Walk back, walking back to the apartment, and Rabbi Ari Levine says, leave him alone. If he's 20-something years old and has never even walked to Kikar Chavez, I uh, leave him alone. Hey. <laughs> That's all the yeah. That's uh, right. You're right. You're right. But, uh, yeah, you got to be a Rebbe Yashiv in order to, to demand that from your wife and your kids. You got to be a Rebbe Yashiv. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Um, Shalom, the son of a pun of La Vida, right? And he pays back to his enemies. Right to the to the face to destroy them. If it wouldn't be the person that said this, he wouldn't be able to say it. To the Yochel, right? So, because we're saying that it's Hashem, Ka'adam Shenaisi Masi upon of Hashem is sort of acting like he has a, a uh, he's carrying a load on his face. And he wants to get rid of it, right? So, Lo Yachel Lusainai. And he doesn't. He's not going to make it late to those that hate to those that that um, to those that hate him. Right? If anybody hates him, so Hashem is going to carry out his his whatever it is that he has to do to them. Right? So the the shot is right. The, yeah. The, I well, I actually saw this in the article because I think I didn't have anything idea what's going on in here. So basically, what they say from the Masha, they bring from the Masha that uh, he's saying that he has to reward. I'm Rishayim that hate him, right? He has to reward them for the good that they do. So that's a that's very difficult thing for Hashem to do. That's what he's learning. Fine. So Amar Avila, the sign of who the lo yachar, aval yachar le tzadikim gemurim, right? For the people that he hates, he doesn't he doesn't delay it, but for the tzadikim gemurim, he will delay it. But meaning the Rishayim, he gives them the the reward. We said this yesterday also. But Rishayim, he gives them the reward right away so that they get it in this world. Sadiqim, he pushes it off because he doesn't want them to get the reward in this world. He wants them to get the reward in the next world. Right? It says, what I'm going to do today. Do it today and don't do it tomorrow. Today, do it today. And tomorrow you're going to be Meqabal Meaning, 
you're not going to get the schar in this world, you're going to get the schar in the next world. And then this next line is Mamish and Yonah Diyayma. Amar of Chagiv Yitayma of Shumu Bar Nachmeni, Ma'ay Tosiv Erech HaPayim, right? We say in the Yud Gimel Midas, right? It says Erech HaPayim, that he was, he's long in, in anger. Erech Achmi Ba'ilei, why is it plural? We should, anger should be in, in singular. What's, he's long in anger. What's the double Lashon of anger? Mi Ba'ilei, right? Erech Achmi Ba'ilei, Erech Achmi Ba'ilei, yeah, it's a Ella Erech Apayim for Tzadikim, Erech Apayim for Rishayim. He's an Erech Apayim for Tzadikim, and he's an Erech Apayim for Rishayim. Meaning, for Tzadikim, he is going to, um, he's going to have a slow face, and he because he's saving it, he's saving their reward for the next world. And Erech Apayim for Rishayim is he's going to be he's not going to give them punishment in this world because he's saving it for the next world, right? So he's an Erech Apayim double. For tzaddikim, he, he saves their reward for the next world, and if for Rishoyim, he's gonna he's saving their punishment for the next world, right? So based on this Gemara, based on this Gemara, um, anytime anybody has anything good to happen to them, you don't know whether to be happy or sad, right? And anytime you have something bad happen to you, you don't know whether to be. Isn't it, isn't a payim lashon of af from a nose? What? Isn't an af a nose? It means means a face. It really means a face, right? From Panim. Literally, but that's no Afayim. But it means anger. It means yes. anger. Af is anger. Af, right? The Gemara is learning it as both anger and the face. But Erech uh, Afayim's literal translation Erech Afayim is, is is slow to anger, right? Isn't that the way all this is yep. learned? Teach it. Slow to. Anger. Thank you, Dave. Fine. Okay. That's the end of the Agatha. Now we go with the. Now we go back to Erevin. Rabbi Yudah Eimer at basis science. Rabbi Yudah says it can be. Yeah, okay. I was meant to have an omnibus. So, well, we did part of the last omnibus. Naftal is a little disappointed that I said it's an omnibus. I got it because only half omnibus. Okay. Ibailu. Baru pasin koma. I do my bar below pasin koma. So when the Gemara says that you get you get two base saw, right? Or base saw science, right? You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to be. You're not. The, the area that you're putting these pas in, right? Again, those corner beams that go in both directions, like the L-shaped in each corner. So you can't go more than two saw, right? Base of science. Is that including, does that just the bar without the space or is that both? Bar or pas and I do my bar below pas and Or is it just the bar without the pas and Other mean, and now the Gemara explains the Shiloh. The whole area can be two saw. Correct, but that's just the, just the bar. Or the bar plus the space until you get to the lechis. The space with the lechis. What well, that's a gemara shaila. Is it just you get more space than just the water? Uh, well, is the base assigned the water, and then you have an additional space till you get to the lechis, right? Because the lechis have to be a minimum distance of two amas away from the water. So you're saying you could you could only do uh, this uh, thing on, on according to what I'm saying only the water. You can only do it on a on a well that is a cell wide. Correct. And if it's and if it's uh, less, if it's more than a cell wide, you can't even do it. Correct. Well, that's a machloek. It's in the mission. Yeah. So again, all them nice and ain't up a bar right. But like as you know, them also the two little yards are the same. A person is just going to look at his bar, and he knows that his bar is no bigger than two saw. So um, we're not afraid that he's going to come carry in a different area that's much bigger than base of same. A person looks at his mechitzas because we're going to make a zera that perhaps he's going to come to swap it more with the base assignment of carpet. How big is the It's two saws is, is a is five thousand square feet. How can someone, if you, according to the man Yaman, it thinks it's just the water? How could you expect someone to go down there? Like well, going down the walls. No, that's a maximum. That's the maximum. Less is fine. Uh -huh. Right? Okay, so Toshima, Kamehim Mukurabin. So how close can the can these boards be? Which is the head and most of the body of the part, which we said was two hours. So Kamehim Rukhakin, how far away can you make these these lechis, right? These pasim, a filu kur, a filu karaim. Even a kur, even karaim. You know I'm a base sasaim mutter. A two saws mutter, yes, and base sasaim it's also. Right, we had this come a few times. Aren't you made to us by a corral and a place behind the, the house and the storage areas and yards? 
even if even chamesh is kulim and even ten kulim. Shemutu. Now it's mutu. So I'm a lem zumachitza ve'elopaz. He answered, No, there. That's talking about where there's an actual wall. So when there's an actual wall, then you could have it to be as big as you want. But this is just pasin. These are just lechis, which is a big kula as it is. So therefore, we're not going to let it more than the than the sasaim. Reb Shimon Allah, so I'm a bar based sasaim. A base sasaim mutu. A bar that's two saw by two saws mutu. For lo yamur lahachik alakadei roshiv ruba shapara. And we only said that you have to distance it, right? Um, is only in order to have the the head and most of the parra. So now what's the raya? How many gomer? Rav Shemuel Elazar bar v'loy pasin. But Rav Shemuel Elazar says the word bar and not the board. Mechlad Rav Yehuda bar u pasin kama. So it must be that Rav Yehuda holds on a second. There must be that Rav Yehuda says that it's the bar and the pasin. So what do you want to say, Rav? Um, I was thinking when, the way you said it. Let's say by love it. Right? Yeah. Isn't it harder? For, for, I don't know. I was never a, a gedi, but if you have if you have a whole wall and you have love but just by one little spot in the wall, right? right. And then you have, or you have an, another sukkah that has the guy has fifty amis of love walls. Isn't it easier for for sheep to go in with a every wall is love is 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 off the ground than just one little space? So why don't you? Why don't you say it by pasim? You know, you don't say that by love it, but you say it by pasim. But you're saying the pasim is using a cooler, so we don't want you to we don't want you to use a cooler so much. Right. No, that's right. There's a ladder. Right. When you're using the pasim, it's a cooler, so therefore you don't want to, we don't want to allow so many so many coolers. Yeah, hundred percent. But I'm saying love it right? is a cooler. So that's but but the part but the point of the gemara is Shemar Allah says bar v'loy pasim, and Yudah disagrees with him. So must be says it's bar and the pasim. Beloi, review the bar beloi pasin gomer. He means the bar itself could only be two saw, and not more than that. Ihochi hainu the Rav Shimon Alazar. If that's the case, then review the same, the same thing as Rav Shimon Alazar. No. So you give me now. You now we get a little even more specific. You and I arich the cotton. If you have a, a well, I think Yuri, this is one of the pictures you posted. No, arich the cotton. It's long, and it's and it's skinny. Yeah. So long and skinny. That would be the difference between them. Where Rav Shimon Alazar, right? Um, it's got to be square, mamish. It has to be a perfect square in order to get it to work. And and according to Rabbi Yehuda, it doesn't have to be. So klal lamer Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar kol avish shetashmisha lezira. We had this before too, or or a reference to this. Any avish shetashmisha lezira, any air. What it means is an open area that you're using it to live in. You're going deer, vasar, muktzah, vachatzer. Right, a, a corral or a place to store things, or a, a yard, or a chutzur. A few base chamesh shkurim base aseres kurim mutter. You can have it as big as you want. The whole dira should tashmisha laavir, but if the dira is a tashmisha laavir, right? Again, the first case was the avir is tashmisha ladira, meaning the reason why you were you were making it an erev around it or a fence around it is because you wanted to use it as a living space. And the second case here is called dira shetashmisha la'avir, right? This is the dira is a tasha shetashmisha meaning for the outside. If you go in Burgenin, Shabbosadis, right? The, the huts that the, the watchman sat in. Beis HaSayim Mutter, yes, and Beis HaSayim, it's also. If it's Beis HaSayim, it's Mutter. More than Beis HaSayim, it's also. So that's why, theoretically, you could have a guy who has a ranch with a huge, huge yard. And nobody's living. It's a big empty yard, but since it's part of his house and it's meant to be his yard, so it could be as big as you want. You can make an Erevin as big as you want. But if you have a big empty field that's really not meant for anything, then you cannot, you can't make an Erev around that, which is what we have in Farakoi in quite a few places. We have it right next to Shayoshev, right? The cor- when you go down 878, you pass Shayoshev, and then on the right side, it's, it's like a swamp area. And then behind Jesse's house, if anybody knows what Jesse's house is. Um, and then also on the corner, Seagard Boulevard, from off of Beach 9th Street. Right? Those are all unlivable areas. Any mechitza, we have to make a mechitza around it, not to be able to carry in it. You can't carry in it. We make a mechitza around it to eliminate it from the Arab. Because it's, it's not, it's not Roy Ladira. You can't even live in there. 
Because if you would live it's in there, some yid would have built, if you could live in there, some yid would have built houses there already. That's no, no, that's what I was saying. On Beach Ninth and Seeger, there used to be swamp there too, and they built houses. Correct. They managed to do it. They managed to do it. So then, but, why do we think that can never happen there? No, but even Harbor though, even View, so, Harbor View also was a swamp. Right. So even so, even so. It, it's you still have to just it has to be livable at that point. Maybe I'm saying at that it. point, you mean it could always that, change. Right. You saying at that point, yeah, yeah, uh. yeah. For one right. second, for one sec. Hello. Yeah, um, go ahead. Right now, why do you have to put a string around it? Because you can't have that big a field in your in your area that's not why? livable. Why? Not, I don't if that's part, that's the takana that we've been learning about that you can't. It has an area of has and, to and be, a park and a park. No, a park people hang out in. Uh -huh. It has to be a park because you can't have, doctor, you can't have a place in an Arab. Part of the Takana of Arab is that you can't have, it has to be hook of Ladira. It has to be surrounded with people for actually to live, not to even, some, uh, even not if, to Even summer. if Jesse owned his whole, that whole swamp, he would still have to air off. No, his no, so no. So that's what's not, see, I'm not sure because there it's his own yard, but it's really not livable. So I'm not sure what we would say with that. I'm not sure. You don't um, put, do you have to put an area before the before the ocean? Do you have to put a string before the ocean? No, no. Well, yeah, Why? sure. Yeah, yeah, we do it. What is it? We have an area. The, the but do you, but you have to. Can, but can, can you just go straight down to the ocean and leave that as another wall? No, because there's no. it's not a wall by the ocean. Well, part of it is part of it. Part of the ocean is a wall. We sent that picture out the, uh, a couple weeks ago. Right, so that's but, my But the, the ocean by Beach Nine Tree is not a wall. It's a, it goes right in as a... The That's a beach. The the beach. So what, what about like in, Although we're going to discuss on a base, doctor. I think what you're asking, we're going to discuss on a base. What, so what about like you, you have you have people who like live on golf courses and stuff. There are all kinds of little ponds and stuff. Does that count? It could be. It could never be. That, never that thing. Oh, Lawrence. Lawrence has that. Oh, it's all right. So a harbor. Oh, no, you mean it has to be 2,000 amas, No. Yeah, no, but that's no, no, not two thousand, five thousand square amas, which is yeah, not big. There's no that's, that's, five thousand square amas. What? This right? No five thousand square feet of a golf Can't hear you. It's very unclear. Um, uh, but uh, I mean, a golf course that's that big, you saying? I don't know. The 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 pond in the back of Sutton Park, right? Sutton Park in the middle. There's a pond. That that pond we eliminate from the area. Yeah. It's a it's a pain to check as Naftali line, right? But, um, it's a pain because those yards they're not they're not usable. It's they're soaking wet those yards. You gotta walk in the mud, whatever it is. But we eliminate that. We eliminate that uh, that uh, that pond from the Eruv. Yeah. Um, well, one second. Is, one second. Yeah. If somebody lives on a golf course, there could only be four people who live there. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, very good. I got that joke, doctor. Okay. <laughs> what if what if you live in like a woody community? Like you, there's a community up in the mountains somewhere that has, uh, just you're you're in a forest. <clears throat> you know. No, there's... as long as it's a normal place for people to live, then you keep you keep it in the area. If it's not, no. But what I'm what I'm what I'm saying is that there's they clear cut it and they put a they put they build a community. They do a lakewood in the in in the in the forest somewhere. But outside of whatever that boundary is, where the where they built the houses, it's. I mean, you can't live in the forest. I mean, you can oh, but, if you're a mountain man, but like. Sure, you could build no, but that, no, but if that, yeah, but that's what the Gemara's here saying. It's. I uh, thought all you need to have is paths that people normally travel, like in Atlanta. That's true. That's true. No, that's true. But because Atlanta has woods forest. in the middle of the community, but there's tons of paths that are made that people walk through. So I was told it doesn't no, happen. Right, that, happen. Yeah, that, that would be okay. That would be okay. As a matter of fact, in this era, they actually tried, my father's a friend of the tried it with somebody. They tried to hack through the, the swamps by Beach Ninth to try and see if they could get a path and walk through it. And it wasn't possible. There's was too much water. There was too much water when they tried to. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see, Vaita. We're going to be see more of this on Amma Beis. The Zatim Mishnah. Yeah, Rabbi Yehuda Eimer. And my Yederuch Rishus Aram is the custom, right? So this we had before. If the Rishus Aram is going through, right? So you have the water, and then you have these these posts on the corner, and then there happens to be a highway going right through it, right? So you're Sakana Litzadim. So Rabbi Yehuda says you got to move the highway. You got to reroute the highway around this area. You cannot have the highway going through there. The Chacham Eimer ain't it Tzaruch. Come say no, you don't have to. You can you can route that highway right through it, and it's no problem. So the Gemara for the next Ahmed 
Ahmed and Change is going to analyze all these different cases of of where what the uh, where, where Rabbi Huda disagrees with the Chacham about this case. So Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Lazar thing Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Lazar the Ami Tavayu Kana Diachan Koyched Shom Mechitzas, which we had we had this Gemara before too that they both say Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Lazar both say that it just shows you the strength of these Mechitzas, right? Which meaning they're they're so strong that you could even have a public street going through it and we still say it's kosher. I just wonder if this is what they were trying to they were I mean because at the end of the day all these Arab things are almost like if you're a cynic you almost say like what why are you saying this is a machitza? You put a board over here, right? And then you put a board over here and that makes it a machitza. So that's what they're saying. Yes, this machitza is so strong that even if a Rashu Sarabim is going right through it, it's still considered a machitza. So then the Gemara says, Khan So it must be when they said that when they said this comment of Khan, this is referring to how strong Mechitzas are. So that must be they hold that. Probably we had this Gemara also previously that Rabbi Yechanan had said that Yerushalayim, if they wouldn't have locked up the gates at night, then it would be Yerushalayim. So what do you see? That Yerushalayim, that it had fences. So what if this is a Rav Mishpit going to your area? It should be okay. That's what Rav Yechanan just said. So clearly it's a steer of Yechanan. Elakan, the loy steer, they know. They're saying here, like, look here that how strong these Mechitzas are, but we don't hold of it. Right? We don't hold like that. Then Gemara says, Barami the Rav Yehuda, the Rav Yehuda, Barami the Rav the Rav We have a steer for both the Yehuda and the Rav Right? Again, Rav Yehuda and our Mishnah hold, you're not allowed to have a road going through it. And the Ravana and the Mishnah hold you are allowed to. So Tanya, yes, or okay, number of you, the Misha, you were Shnei Batim, Mishnei Tzidu, Rishasaravim, right? We had this a uh, few times too. If you have a guy who owns two houses on either side of Rishasaravim, I say, like, Lechim Mikan, the Lechim Mikan, I carry Mikan, the carry Mikan. You can either make a Lechi on this side and another, a Lechi on the other side, meaning one on one house on one side of the street, another Lechi on the other side on the other side of the street, or a beam on one side and a beam on the other side. But nice, but nice, and the empty, and then you're allowed to carry. On that Rishon Saravim in the middle, Am Rilai Ain Ma'avim Rishon Saravim Bakach. They told him, they told Rabbi Yehuda, you're not allowed to make an Arab like this. So Kasha Rabbi Yehuda, the Yehuda Kasha the Rabban Rabbanon, right? Rabbi Yehuda, who said in our Mishnah that you're not allowed to have a street go through your Arab. So here he clearly holds it. You're allowed to have a, you're allowed to make an Arab across the street. You have two houses, and there's Rishon Saravim going right through your Arab, and you have a, and the Rabbanon's also a stira. Yeah. Okay? So the Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah, like Kasha, Hasan, the Kashtei Mechitzas, Ma'alya. So there you have two proper Mechitzas. Why? You have on either side of the street, you have a house, which is a proper Mechitzas. So Rabbi Yudah's opinion is, that as long as you have two Mechitzas on either side of the street, that's enough to downgrade it to from a Rosh Hashanah, and therefore you can carry in between. Hacha, like Kashtei Mechitzas, Ma'alya. So but here, you don't have two good Mechitzas. Basically, all you have is four L-shaped boards on each corner. That's not enough to to allow a Rosh Hashanah to go marching through your Arab. That's how we're going to answer if Yehuda steer. The Rabbana, 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 Fine. So that's how we answer that stira. So I'm Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak, and Eretz Yisrael ain't chayav and alam, Rishum Rishus Haravim. Right? A very interesting Gemara here. Here we're saying now that that there is no Rishus Haravim in Eretz Yisrael. Yeah, so what's the chat? Yitzchak, Rabbi Dimi, v'kama l'alash ma'itza. Rabbi Dimi was sitting and he said over this Gemara, Amar le'abayil Rabbi Dimi, my timer. They said to him, what's the reason? Ilayim v'shum demakif l'asulma d'tzor me'hach kisa. If you're going to say, because it's surrounded by Sulma Dutsur, right? Which is uh right, um it's uh I don't know which I don't know where in the modern Israel this is, right? But there's you have on one side you have mountains, right? Sur is rock. Sulma Dutsur. Sula means a ladder of, of rocks. Mehaki is on one side, right? Umachtana de Goder, Mehaki and you have a drop from Goder on the on the uh, other side of Eretz Yisrael. Right, so basically you have one side, meaning it's almost like two mechitzas, one on either side of Eretz Yisrael. So that if that's the case, and that's why, since you have two mechitzas, therefore Eretz Yisrael is not a Rishon Sarabim, and you would not be chayiv midairaisa 
if you carry them, the Rabbanon would be a problem. The rice it wouldn't be a problem. So then Bovel Nami Matav Law, right? But Bovel also surrounded. Poros Mehaf Yisa, right? It has the, the what do you call it? The Harpros, the river on that side, the Tigelis Mehaf Yisa. And it has the, what's the name of these rivers? Tigris and Euphrates, right? On the other side, the Kuliyama Nami. I said, and then the Gemara says, and then the Kuliyama Nami Matav, oh, kindness. The whole world is surrounded by what we call the kind of the Atlantic Ocean, but it means ocean. I mean, every, meaning the whole world should have, according to this, if you're saying that the natural, I don't know if this is the Golan Heights, probably, uh, the heights on one side and a drop on the other side, so then every, every, uh, every body of land has, has uh, fences around it. Yeah? Which is an interesting case because having nothing, I mean, it has a little bit to do with this, but, you know, like on Purim, any city that's surrounded by a wall, any city that's surrounded by a wall on Purim, from the days of Yeshua ben Nun, keeps second day Purim, keeps, two, two, uh, keeps uh, Shushan Purim, right? So some folks can want to ask, well, water, right, if you have any island that has, that's surrounded by water, so it's considered also like a Mechitza, so if that's the case, so Manhattan should only should keep uh, Shushan Purim, not not regular Purim. Okay, but it's not really clear what the answer to that would be. Uh, but then and then you can stand, you can extend it to any anybody land. The whole United States is surrounded. Okay. For one second. I'm sure what? Why wasn't it around Yeshua Benu? No one was here. You don't know. Was, so what? Yeah. Why should we assume it wasn't here? Doesn't have to be that. I don't know. No, no, no. What do you want to say, doctor? I was going to say, that's why people get drunk a lot in Manhattan, because they're not exactly sure what day is Purim, and what, for two days? Or? Yeah, I guess so. So for the whole year, they're drinking. Doctor, we were barely soivel your four comment. This is too much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to upgrade the jokes, Doctor. <laughs> what, what, was the re what was the reason behind it originally? Behind what? The halakha at the walls. What do you mean? Because of Shushan. You talking about for Purim? Yeah. Yeah, because of Shushan. Because they had an extra day where they were killing the uh, guy. Right, right. So any place that had a wall, you know, celebrated with that. Right. I'm saying, so what, the, would that work for, 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 what's it called? That was for protection, right? Not because right, so of that's exactly of right. So, so uh, very good. So Tveria was surrounded by three walls, and the fourth wall was the water of the, what do you call it? The Kinneret. And that they said you have to at least a suffix. So if that's the case, so water does act as a mechitza. Okay, whatever it is. Just yeah. just so you know, uh, the Stein Salts uh, comes out and says that the Sulam de Tzur <coughs> is known today as Rosh Anikra, where oh, the high cool. cliffs stand, that stand on the shore of the Mediterranean. And Matnam uh, Degah there is the steep drop from the Golan Heights down to the Canaret along the Jordan River. Wow. Wow, very interesting. And, doc, very and Dr. Interesting. Abramson says also, it's Russian Nikra. Doctor, I, mean, I hear that. It makes Abram. sense. I was, never, I was never in Russian Nikra. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, so you know what's interesting with this Gemara? Okay, well, let's finish the Gemara and then we'll, I'll tell you a practical of something that's similar. To and on, and anyway. on the, Jordan, the Jordan, they're a very large mountain range on both sides yeah. of the Jordan River. Uh huh. Uh huh. Interesting. Huge. Interesting. So that, I guess that's what it's talking about. So then the says, okay, Dilma, so the question is, so if that's the case, so then other places should also, Babel should not have riches or Robin, right? So then the says, Dilma, my life, Umar does come, Amrit, right? Me, maybe it's just talking about the, the places that it's very steep to get up and they're very steep to go down, right? Meaning only on those places where it's very steep is that not considered riches or Robin. But every other place, it would be a meaning in B'nai Brak or Tel Aviv, or Yerushalayim, that it's easily walkable, so then that's going to be a uh, Rosh But when you go up these at uh, Rosh Nikra, I guess if you carry on Rosh Nikra on Shabbos, you wouldn't be over on an Issa. Amalei, Kakafna, Chazisa. Right? Kakafna, Chazisa, Lereshek, Be'amudu. Kakafna is a Lashon of a, is a compliment. Right? Adam Choshev Rashi says, Chazisa, Lereshek, Be'amudu. I saw your head between the Amudim, right, of the Besmerish. Of the base of Rabbi Yochanan, Ki Amar Rabbi Yochanan Lahash Maitza, like because that's what that's what Rabbi Yochanan said. Meaning, it's all I think it's sort of like saying like, 
It's as if you were there when he said it, because that's exactly what he meant. So, yeah. So, now, in a Borough Park, with the Borough Park Arab and the Flappish Arab, so what a lot of the Hasidim are trying to do is to, to, to say that it's a Rishus HaYachid. What they want to say is that they say the, the they want to schlep out, how do they say? The sea walls going along uh, Rabana. Where is it down there? By the by the bay. Uh, Coney Island. By Coney Island. By Coney Island. I think that's what they want to do. By Coney Island. And then they want to say that the fences going by the highways of the BQE or maybe even the LIE, they want to say that those are considered mechitzas and therefore that makes the entire Brooklyn have at least some mechitzas and therefore you can make an Erev there. I know that there's some discussion about that. That's how far out they want to stretch it. Almost like from this Gemara, like they want to, they want to stretch out the boundaries of Eretz Yisrael all the way to Russia Nikra or whatever it is. Anyway. Right, the, the, the steep the going up and the going down in Eretz Yisrael. You're not going to be for them for them for them for them for them for because they're not like the, the, the golem from the midbar because in the midbar everything was flat. Here, it's very steep and therefore it's not considered Rosh Hashanah. So, but I mean, a Rechava may, may, may Rava, right? So, Rechava asked, asked from Rava, right? Again, it's, uh, his name is Rechava, which is a street, which is what we're trying to deal with here, right? Tell him a slacket, so we had this before. Right, a telemus locket, that's what's across from uh, from Marcher's house, you know, next to the next to the, the uh, parking lot on the Farakoe side of the on the inward side of the on the Farakoe side of the inward station. Right, it's a very steep hill. Is so that you have also a, the, the wall by the ocean? That's not a telemus locket, but that's a regular machita. But telemus locket, a sort of, yeah, I mean the dirt made it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So telemus locket, a sort of took arba. So a telemus locket, which is it goes up 10 from, with four. Right, the Robin bike and bike, but so now really that should be a mechitza, right? Because it's very difficult to travel because it's so steep. So, but the but the street there is a street going through it. Are you chayav for Rishus Rama or not? So I'll leave it to Rabban Eliyahu Bailo. According to Rabban, who say that you're allowed you're allowed to have a street going through Hashto Mahos and Benisha Tashmishde. I'm Rabban Eliyahu to Rama about the mechitza. The Rabbanon say that the Rabbin does not come and, you're, and they're not they're not about the Mechitza, meaning they don't care if you have a street going right through your Arab, they could care less. I meaning they still say the Arab is kosher and you're allowed to carry there. Here, it's not easy to travel up this Tel right? It's very difficult. So, of course, the Chachamim are going to say that it's not going to ruin the Arab. The question is according to Rabbi Yehuda. My Hassam, who the Nicha Tashmishte, there. When you have a regular straight road going through your area, so it's easy to go through it. So, of course, that's going to be Mavata Yerev Acha, who the Loi Nicha Tashmishta, Loi Asaram Mavata Mechitzas. But here, where there's, it's not easy to travel up this this uh, steep road, so the Rabbin's not going to come to Mavata Mechitzas. I do my Loi Shno, or maybe Rabbi Yudha doesn't care. So, my Loi says, Chayavin, no, they are Chayim. Right? And meaning they're Chayim, and, uh, we still say, meaning Rabbi Huda still says that the street is Mavato, the Erev, and there's no Erev there. But I feel oil like the Chavel, the Gemara says, and that's even if... We're not have, worried about like a Sakana, like someone's going to fall into the well if they're walking, if there's not so much space. You're right, uh, but he still says, as long as the public travels through there, it doesn't seem like it bothers uh, Rabbi Huda, right? He's still going to say that it goes through. Yes, yeah, so I'm Alei Chayav, the Sar says, I feel oil like the Chavel, even if you need a rope, meaning it's so steep you have to hold onto a rope, I'm going to lay in. He says, yeah, as long as the public, so Rabbi Yudha is taking a very strong stance here, as long as the public goes through an Arab, it's a problem. Right? But I feel the mile space modern, and even if it's going the mile space modern, right, I guess Mayron, right? That's very, like, those mountains are caught, they're pretty steep. So I'm going to lay in, yes, even if that goes, if it's so steep it goes through the Arab, it's still a problem. Fine. Ace, they ask the Kasha Chotzer Sheruven. So you have a chotzer. Now a chotzer is a yard, right? And now you have the public travel through the yard. Now that's not going to be a big main thoroughfare that's busy. It's just the public traveling through it. We're going to consider that Rosh Hashanah Petoma, right? Which we know that for Rosh Hashanah, right? Any soft Petoma Rosh Hashanah were mekel. 
but it's considered it's considered it's just a yachid shabbos. Now, who's that going to? Again, you have a yard that's a private property, but you have public street going through it. So who's that like money? Elam Rabbanon. If it's according to Rabbanon, Hashto Mahasam Denichet Tashrish Dayam Rabbanon Lo Yosu Rama Rabbanu Kitzim. When it's easy to go through, it's a regular big main thoroughfare. Still, the Rabbanon say that the street is not mevatel mechitza. Does this make it difficult? Why is this road is? No, that yes, that's what we're saying. Hachar to light nicha tashmish. They hear going through the chutz. It's not a big street, and it's a pain to cut through the chutz. It's not easy to get through the chutz. Right? Only anytime you want to go through a shortcut in somebody's backyard, it's not as easy to walk through that that shortcut as as it would be to walk around the block. So, but if the Rabbanon say that a regular street goes through a mechitza, it's a problem. So, a small street for sure. Elulav, and for sure going to say not a problem. Elulav, Rabbi Yehudi, must be it's Rabbi Yehuda. So to say, Loilam Rabbanon, which was around the Tumah at Shri Chaleim, it's really the Rabbanon. And yes, there's no Chiddush that it's considered Rosh Hashanah for carrying on Shabbos, but that it's considered Tumah, that it's considered Rosh Hashanah for Tumah, that, that is a Chiddush, so that's why they need to say it. And the Gemara is going to just say similar questions. So Toshima, Mavur Sima Falashas, the Baris, the Shichin, and the Ma'aras, the Sichin, the Baris, Sichin, and Ma'aras, Right, if you have a, a mavui that's open up and it has holes and square holes, round holes, and caves in uh, in it, so it's just a yochel shabbos. It's considered just a yochel for shabbos. But it's just a ram l'tumah. It's considered just a ram l'tumah. So the Gemara says, "But by this are you thinking that there's a mavui? Right? You're telling me that a a entrance way to a street is going through a bar. How could that possibly be? Right? Who's having an entrance to a street through a bar?" Ella the Bayrus for Shusa Yachid the Shabbos, which is the Ram and the Tumor. It's talking about for Bayrus, right? It means that basically, right, there's a, the art school has a good chart on this one. Uh, Yuri, I don't know, did you, I think you must have posted one about this too, right? For Bayrus, it's talking about where the end of the street is a big bar at the end of the street. So it's Rosh Hashanah the Shabbos. For Shabbos, it's considered Rosh Hashanah because the Rabbim is not going to go through there. Rosh Hashanah Rabbim Latuma, but it's still considered Rosh Hashanah for Tuma for Suffolk Tuma. So again, money. Who is it like? Elam Rabbanon. If it's going to Rabbanon, Hashto Mahos and Denisa Tashmishte. Right over there, where we said that the road going right through and it's easy to go through. Amri Lo Yosu Ramavat the Rabbim is not Mavatul the Mechitza and your Erev is kosher even though the street's going right under it. Hacha the Loi Nicha Tashmishte. Like Koshikin, here where it's not where it's not easy to go through because it's not an easy street to travel through if you have this huge bar right smack in the middle of the street. So like Koshikin, a lot of Rabbi Yehuda, he must be Rabbi Yehuda. So anyone says no, loy loy lem Rabbanon, it's really the Rabbanon. So then what's the chiddush? Rishus Saram l'Tumah, it's Shuchalei. He needs it for Rishus Saram l'Tumah. Fine. So Toshima, next case, Shvile Beis Gilgal, Ukiyotzeben. If you have these little streets of Beis Gilgal. Right, and other and other things like that. Rosh Hashanah was Shabbos. Rosh Hashanah, um, Rashi says. By the way, this base Gilgal was very, very, very what do you call it? Um, steep, right? Um, it's a very steep, uh, like a mountain. So it's a Shusayach the Shabbos, and it's just around the Tumah. Base of Shvile base Gilgal. What is that considered? I'm in very Rabbi Kol Sheina Eved Yachalik Dosah Shachitim Viyaretz Lufnei Sardiyot Sardiyot. If you can't if, if, if it's so steep that a slave can't take a saw of wheat, and when there's an officer, right, a sardi, it is like an officer or his boss, whatever, watching him to make sure he does it properly. It's so steep he can't do it. So now who's the tana here? Money Ilim Rabbanon, if it's Rabbanon, Hashtu Mahasum, Dinicha Tashmishte, I'm Rabbanon Layasu Raman Vajra right over there where it's it's difficult to travel, where it's easy to travel. Right, going the regular street, going through the bar. The rabbin is not about the mechitza. How could the loy nicha tashmish the loy kolshik? And here it's not easy to walk up. So isn't it a kolshik? And the rabbanon would say that it's not, it's not, uh, it's it's a kosher eruv and it's not rishus rabbin. So it can't be the rabbanon. El alav, Reb Yehuda, right? It's uh, it's Reb Yehuda. So I'm alay shvili beis gilgul kamad. You're talking about the streets of beis gilgul. Yeshua ayev Yisrael haya. By Yeshua, the Navi Yeshua, was an Ayav Yisrael. Omar the Tikkun Lem Drachim the Sartia. He was Mesakin streets, right? And Sartia, what he said, is also public street throughout Eretz Yisrael. Kol Echad Denicha Tashmi Yisteh Masul Rabim. If it was an easy, if it was a street that the public needed, so basically what Yeshua did, he used eminent domain, 
And he said, even though this is part of your property, we're making it into a street because it's going to make it easier on everybody. Because he loved Eretz Yisrael so much, he wanted to make it easily accessible to everybody. And whatever it was not easy to do, so he handed it over to a yachid. Right? So therefore, he's saying, um, even Rabbi Yehuda would say, Rabbi Yehuda who normally has a problem with streets, is going to say, no, these streets are not easily accessible. So therefore, Yeshua would have made it into a, a private property, and therefore, it's not going to be a Rosh Hashanah for Shabbos. All right. Uh, have yourselves a good night. Hope we didn't go too fast at the end. Shukaya. All right. Good night. See you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tomorrow we discuss watering holes? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? To doc, 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 if you would have said the golf course has four people and three birdies and two eagles, then I would have liked it. Uh, <laughs> very good. Okay, good one. Good one. I, I just hope the oil on this. I hope anybody on this stop got that joke. I just got the joke. That's okay, the sad very, part. Very good. That's the, yeah, it's, you know, it's happy. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Anybody uh -huh. who got the joke, that's the sad part. Yes. I, I, yeah. I heard Rabbi Eli Stefanski I, said a, a funny joke this morning. He said about being tough on your wife. A guy, a guy was learning Ervin and he kept on saying, he was learning out loud, he kept, and his wife kept on coming in, leaving. He said, Why are you being so mean? What are you talking about? Every time I come in, you say, Lechem Ikan, Lechem Ikan. He was saying in Hebrew, Lechem Ikan in Hebrew is get out of here, get out of here. But he was saying, <laughs> Lechem Ikan, Lechem Ikan. Very good. Oh, man, the jokes are flying tonight. Very good. <laughs> wow, they're really taking your job as the Rebbe jokes. All right. Uh, that's right. That's right. You heard Very that? You heard good. that joke? You heard that joke? I never before? heard that joke. No, it's a good one. It's, that's a it's funny. And the, right? lady, and the, yeah. the ladies really like these comments here. Lechem Ikan. Very good. Lechem Ikan. I mean, because Lechi is a lush in the cave, you saying. I don't even think. Yeah. Right? You, see, you put a yud yeah. at the end. Right. See me after class. See me after class. Yeah, I'm in class. Good. What? Thank you. Anyways, all right. All right, good night. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to all of you. birdie and <laughs> eagle. That, that, yeah. Bye. All right. Tag is on, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Parrots, you still there? Yeah. Did you did you look at the list?